Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you something that you might think is so easy that you don't need to be told. I'm going to show you how to make a proper British cup of tea. Most Brits adore a good cup of tea, um, although these days fewer than used to tea sales have been declining for the last few years. However, um, I, I know from my, my travels that uh, it, <laughs> tea is a mystifying thing in many cultures. Um, and, and in fact, British tea. Other cultures have their own way of doing tea and that's perfectly fine. British tea is something unique on its own, so that's what we're focusing on. And yes, it's a topic surrounded by myths, legends, uh, a fair bit of snobbery and just plain ignorance. So anyway, <laughs> stick with it. I'll show you how to make a proper cup of tea. Let's do it. Everybody has their own preferences when it comes to which brand of tea to drink. And it's, it's down to what you like and also what's available locally. But because I'm in Yorkshire, I've got to use Yorkshire tea. Now, this is wonderful stuff. It's grown on the sun-drenched south-facing slopes of the Yorkshire hills and dales. Oh no, it's not, sorry. They don't actually say where it's grown, but you know, there you go, Yorkshire tea, grand. So at its most basic, to make British tea, you need boiling water and tea. Now the tea can be in bags or as loose leaf tea and I don't believe there's any difference between them um, but I personally cannot stand all the hassle of dealing with um, used tea leaves whereas tea bags obviously are much more convenient. You might also add milk and or sugar and if you think they're a bit posh um, you might add just lemon. Um, also again personal thing i think lemon in tea is not nice um, but i do like milk and a bit of sugar anyway let's boil the kettle now and there's two ways of making the actual tea you can use do it in a mug or you can do it in a teapot if there's more than one person uh, well even if there is one person but you know i think that's a bit fiddly so we'll make a mug of tea first and for that I want to put one tea bag in the mug. And this is where a lot of establishments who should know better just completely fail at the job. Any cafe, restaurant, whatever, that gives you a pot of hot water and a tea bag to put in yourself has failed before they've started. The water must be boiling, not boiled. So this is what boiling looks like. and it continues for a few seconds after. So as long as it's still in that st at that stage, you can add it onto your tea bag. Okay, so it's still boiling. Okay. Now, just give it one stir and leave it for four to five minutes or longer if you like really, really strong tea. So tea drinking in Britain has uh, a bit of a, a checkered history. D tea was well known in China, where they could grow it, and Tibet, um, for centuries, since the, probably the 6th century and, and before that. Um, but it wasn't until the 17th century that um, the Brits got their grubby little hands on tea from China, and then later from India, and started shipping it back to Blighty as quickly as they could because suddenly it was what everybody wanted to drink. Now, the coffee had been around in Britain before tea, but um, for some reason tea just captured the imagination of pretty much everybody. And it has to be said, it was far better and safer to drink tea than to drink, you know, just standard water. And before coffee and tea, in fact, the standard daytime drinks were ale and gin. So you have to wonder about the uh, general state of sobriety of Brits at that time. So while that's steeping, we'll I'll show you how to do the pot method. 
so the first thing with um, a ceramic teapot it feels cold so that's going to stop your tea from steeping immediately so what you need to do is warm the pot it's not just a thing your grandmother used to say it's actual sort of scientific fact so give that a swirl Ugh. <laughs> give that a swirl and then pour it down the sink let's do a few shout outs there's a couple of people who are disappointed not to be mentioned in my previous video about fish pie that's joe thompson and washing machine killer um i didn't know that washing machine killer wanted a shout out on fish pie but um and i'm not sure i did about joe anyway and also a new patreon fan yay ted kissel welcome aboard thank you now we have the tea so the rule is one tea bag per person and one for the pot an extra one for the pot i don't know why that is but that's what they say so boil your water again and pour it over the tea bags and put the lid on and if you live in a freezing cold climate or even you know just a normal place in england <laughs> You might want to put a tea cosy on your teapot to keep it warm. This is the world's best tea cosy made by Mrs. Keith Cooks. And um, yeah, it's quite elaborate uh, and it really works. <laughs> that tea will still be hot in about two hours time. Right, I reckon this tea's more than done, which is okay, because I do like it strong. And um, tea like this in a mug, very strong inner mug with milk and sugar is often referred to as builder's tea as well. Uh, so some milk, some naughty stuff and enjoy! Well yeah, you know I grew up drinking tea and then when I left home I went off it and I, I got into coffee um, and probably I don't know 10 years ago I got back into tea and I just love it, it's fantastic. Um, I'll have coffee now and again, but, you know, for preference, cup of tea. <sighs> oh. Right, that's your lot. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Give me likes, give me shares, give me money if you want. Um, and thanks for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>